Hello, friends. This is the star of our show, JJ Chow. And this is my maid, Mikey. Are you the star of the show? Ha ha ha! Sometimes you talk such nonsense. It's not nonsense. I'm a star. I'm more popular and interesting than you. I come up in every video, too. So I'm a star, too. Mikey, you only became a popular guy because of me. No, you're the one who got popular because of me. Because I'm a handsome and charismatic dude. All right, enough with the bragging. Mikey and I were just taking a walk down the street. Hey, kids, hi, how you doing? Oh my God, who is that? Hi there, sweet babies. I'm so glad I got to meet you. I need your help in my house. Could you please help me? You're the good guys, right? Or are you not? Actually, we have a lot to do, lady. He hey, you don't have to be afraid of me. I don't bite, trust me, it won't take you long. We already told you we're not going anywhere with you. Get away from here. Stupid witch, nobody needs her at all. Uh, now that was very rude of you. We don't care what you think. We should be watching cartoons at home right now. Let's go, JJ. She's too dumb. Bye-bye. Ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> you also smell like rotten potions. Go wash up, pig. We made such a big deal out of that stupid witch. Our mom always taught us that we shouldn't talk to strangers. And we were right not to talk to her. Witches are no good. There's no way she can turn us into stinking pigs, although Mikey stinks pretty badly already. You're the one who stinks. Hey, Mom, Dad, we're here from our walk. Hi, everybody. Hello, children. I hope nothing bad happened to you on the outside. No, you don't have to worry. It's just a couple of homeless people and a witch trying to steal us. Ha ha ha, this happens to you every day. Yeah, well, we don't care about that at all. By the way, what are we going to do now? Uh, Mom, Dad, we're gonna go play on the computer. You don't mind, do you? We don't care. We're watching cartoons. Mind your own business. Our parents don't seem to care at all what we do with our lives. All right, then let's start playing computer games. Mikey, start Minecraft. Can't we play another game? We're we're already living in Minecraft. Today, we're going to play whatever game I want to play. Um, that's not fair. I want to play Minecraft. Our powerful computer can run this cool game. And what game do you want to play? I'm going to play Fortnite. You should see how good I am at it. Ha 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 ha. Mikey, you always come in last place at Fortnite. Oh, that's a lie. I'm good at playing it. Ah, there they are. Stupid little kids. What are they doing? Playing computer games? Ha ha ha. I play a hundred times better than you, Mikey. Uh, I haven't actually launched the game game yet. I feel so bad that they lied to me. Was it so hard to help me? Oh my god, that's the kind of thing I should punish them for. I think I even know how to do it. I'm a witch. I can ruin their lives forever. It's so good to be an evil witch. I wonder if I should brew a super evil potion that will make them blind. Hmm, I guess that would be too cruel. I think I'll just put a spell on them. All that's left is to choose what I can turn them into. It has to be something fun. I'll turn them into spiders. No, I'll wait for them. Although that's not interesting. Hmm, oh yeah, I'll cast a completely random spell on them. Ha ha ha, that would be awesome. They will regret treating me so badly. Okay, shut down the computer. You're a Fortnite noob. You shouldn't be allowed to play any games at all. You were just distracting me. <laughs> you just don't know how to play. Uh, what happened to you? Uh, I don't know. I've gotten too small for some reason. Ha ha ha. You were already a little baby, and now you're a newborn. Ah! Uh, oh my god, what happened? Looks like you've gone small too, just like me. But that's not how it works. What's going on? I don't want to be so small. What are we supposed to do? Mikey, I'm really scared. What if we stay this small for the rest of our life. I wanted to grow up big and strong. Stop whining, JJ. We should tell our parents about this. They must have some kind of pill for this disease. You think this is some kind of common illness? I mean, no one gets this kind of disease. And actually, those stairs seem so huge and steep from up here. And how do we get down to the first floor? We could just go tumbling down the stairs. That's probably gonna be painful. I won't do it. Let's go already. You've been afraid of everything your whole life. Okay, that wasn't hard. Now we just have to tell our parents. This lunch is the best in the world. We are so small, they don't notice us at all. Nice rhyme, Mikey. We need them to notice us. Our babies are getting quiet from upstairs. Maybe they were tired and fell asleep after the walk? Mom, Dad, we're here. Can't you see us? Hey! Mom, please help us. It's a good thing I can't hear them anymore. Sometimes I get tired of our kids. But I hear a beep.
beeping noise. Hey, we're here. Turn your head to the right. I think it's the mice scrabbling under the floor. Never mind, dear. Okay, I hate mice. Mom, Dad, are you stupid? We're not mice. We're your children. It's not funny anymore. Please help us grow up again. They can't hear us. Mikey, you don't even have to try to get through to them. I'm pissed off about those mice, too. I don't have any more ideas who can help us. It's obviously not some kind of disease. Someone made us this small on purpose. But who could have done it? We are such good and kind children. I agree. We didn't even insult or hit anyone. Mikey, somebody's watching us. Look out the window. Ha ha ha. My spell worked. They've gotten so small. That's the same witch we met yesterday. It is so funny to watch such little bugs. It's all her doing. Mikey, she made us small. Oh, that's very bad of her. Maybe she can turn us back. I don't think so. But we have no choice but to go to her. After all, no one can help us. Not even our parents. You know, I'm scared to go see that witch. What else can she do to us? We're already small. We're going to tell her what we think of her. But she's a witch. She can do anything if she wants to. We're little kids. You can't hit children. Everyone knows that. Stop being afraid and let's go. Hey, you stupid fool. Make us big again. Ha ha ha. What kind of evil little insect is that? I can't hear you properly. Ha ha ha. I think we were rude to her for nothing, JJ. Oh yeah. You should have apologized for your bad words. Shut up. It's your fault we're small. We didn't do anything to you. If you'd been more polite, you wouldn't be a little baby right now. Polite? We can't expect anything good from stupid witches. Ha ha ha. You two will never switch. You know, I've got something else for you. I'll boil you in my cauldron and then eat you. Ha ha ha. Uh-oh. That's not cool. I don't want to go to the cauldron. You're going to jail for this. Ha ha ha. You're so stupid. I'm much stronger than your police. Moments later. Ah! Let me go! Ah! I'm scared! Ah! That's not funny at all! Ah! Ha ha ha, you're so easy to juggle. You weigh like two little apples. That's enough. Ah, I'm getting dizzy. Please stop doing that or I'm going to throw up soon. Ha ha ha, you're so stupid. No! Three hours later. We're sitting here like two parrots. Parrots don't boil in a cauldron. This witch's house is so scary. Lots of potions, strange books, cobwebs, dust. I don't see how she can live here. But living in a cage is so much worse. Our parents don't even know where we are. There's no way we're getting out of here. Hey, boys. How's it going in here? Oh, my God. That stupid witch is back. I hope you are enjoying your time here. Ha ha ha. But don't worry. I'll cook you in my magic soup soon. I don't want to swim in soup. I don't think Mikey does either. I don't care what some little bug thinks. Nobody asked you what you want. Our parents will find us sooner or later and beat you. Oh, yeah. You should be scared of them. Ha ha ha. No one will ever be able to find my cabin. Don't lie to me. Then we can escape from this cage. Just try to escape from my cage. I'll throw you into the hottest boiling water in the world. You'll regret it. Hey, that's too cruel. We're just little kids. You are the meanest, nastiest kids in the world. And I was right to put you in a cage. Don't go anywhere while I pour water into my big cauldron. You stupid witch. We can always beat you. Ha ha ha. Only in your dreams. Dreams, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. We're in big trouble with you, JJ. No, Mikey. We got to figure something out. Maybe bend these bars or go through them. We need some kind of plan. I don't know. I have no idea how we're going to get out of here. Mikey, you've always helped us out in the most difficult situations. How could you give up so soon? Why do I have to save us all the time? I don't know. Because you always have something cool to do. Uh, on the cool side, I got some dynamite in my pocket. Oh, really? You carry dynamite around with you? You're so weird. It's it's fun to blow it up sometimes. Okay, I got an idea. We can blow these bars and get out of here. I hope we don't blow ourselves up. Uh-oh, that was powerful. At least those bars are gone. The dynamite was really powerful. Good thing we weren't hurt in any way. Oh, yeah, we got to get out of here as fast as we can before that witch comes back here. There are so many interesting things here. We have to take revenge on that witch for making us small. Then we should do the same thing she did to us. There's some open book on her desk. Maybe she used it to make us so small. Then let's put a curse on her. Let her go bald or turn into a big, fat hippo. But we're not witches. We can't cast spells like she can. We need to at least give it a try. We can't just sit here and wait for her to come here. Uh, listen, JJ, there's some weird words in here, but I can read them. Then go ahead and read them. But I don't know what they mean. It doesn't matter. Do it, or 
she'll be back here any minute. Okay, there are so many spells and chapters. The language is so weird. Read it out loud, Mikey. How could you read that? I don't know. Uh, something happened to us. Uh, you're right. We're back to being big again. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. Guys, look at us. It's so awesome to be big again. Looks like it was a growth spell. How lucky I was to read that one. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, are you guys awake in there? It's time for you to go boil in my cauldron. Where did they go? Oh, what? Why did you get big again? Oh, we were able to spell ourselves back together, you stupid witch. It's time to punish her for her mean and unfunny pranks. Hey, just don't beat me up. Oh, it's the least we can do for you. Ha ha ha. Guys, let's make peace, please. She wanted to eat us, and now she's begging for mercy. She's so pathetic and stupid. Ah! Oh, don't hit me. Ah! And then we'll turn you into a monkey and make you eat your own poop. The next day. I think we should go to it. It's not far away. It's weird that anyone lives in the woods. At least it looks abandoned. I hope it's abandoned. Otherwise, it would be weird to trespass on someone's property. We could be penalized for this. And here's a house in the middle of the bolt, looking abandoned and hard to find. I think it's abandoned. All cobwebbed up and in the middle of a bolt. Wow, if it's cobwebs, it's abandoned. Well, I think we should get in there somehow. I'm really curious to see what's inside. OK, I'll follow you, Mikey, but be careful. Careful, it's deep. If you fall in the water, you'll get wet. I'm unstoppable, and besides, I'm already sweaty. Take the stairs. What are you waiting for? Oh, yeah? I didn't see her. Maybe I was listening to the footsteps of someone who might be inside this house. Wow, look, this web is bigger than the two of us. I'm saying that house is abandoned. Okay, it looks like it's hanging there on purpose. But what about inside? The door's open. Funny, who leaves the door open? Wow, looks like a Halloween paraphernalia counter. Lots of spider webs, books, potions, and stuff like that. I don't think the house is abandoned. Well, we've broken the law and trespassed, so I guess we can add stealing a couple of potion bottles to the list. But Mikey, it's a bad idea. Someone lives here and could come in any minute. I don't think we should steal anything. It's too late. I've already got what I want in my hands. Mikey, I hope you've heard the saying, kids don't play with matches. Now that's perfect for the moment. Yeah, yeah, but listen, I mean... Moments later. Well, you know, Mikey, I don't think you should go into people's houses and get something dangerous like matches. Burning cobwebs is a great idea. You're just nervous. You burn down someone's house. What if someone sees us and we're responsible for it? Do you even think about what you're doing? Well, maybe. What if someone comes to us now? Don't cry. We gotta run before anyone else gets here. And didn't see this house going up in flames. Let's get out of here. It looks nice. But if someone catches us here, they'll obviously blame us for it. And it's all because they built this house without a fire-safe building code. Or because someone always needs to destroy something. What? Not true. Three hours later. Tell. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's clear to you that you don't burn down an entire house next time just to have fun. Come on, don't tell our parents or they'll really start screaming at us. Nothing happened, it's cool. Yeah, you can tell that to the people who go back to that house. I'll be sure to pass it on to them on the chance. You know, we have to be careful. If anyone saw us, it'd be bad. Look at our parents relaxing and watching TV. I don't think I should tell them you set the house on fire. They watch my favorite cartoons. I guess they like watching them too. Hey, Mom. Mom, Dad, we're back home. We were out in the woods having fun all day, and you have no idea what we found. Wow, you kids are finally back. Do you know what time it is? Mom was worried. I didn't care, but you boys should be in bed by now. She's lying. Not out at this late hour. So, the kids? Mikey and I are a little late. It's good that you understand that. Come on upstairs. It's past your bedtime. Yeah, me and Mikey are gonna go now. And next time I'll buy you a watch so you don't forget the time. We'd be happy. Me too! That's good. That's good, but it's time for you to go to bed. I don't want to repeat myself too many times. Your mom takes care of you, so come on. Come on, Mikey. I think we could use a nap after such a long walk. I'm so tired. I'll fall asleep as soon as I lie down. It's very good because a healthy sleep is good for the body. Yes, it's very good for your health. Thank you, darling. I think we should go to bed. Yeah, you're right. I'm incredibly tired. Good night, moms, dads. Yeah, good night. Good night to you, too. Rest and sleep tight, and maybe tomorrow we'll go out together. Yeah, I think that would be a great idea. And again, good night. Good night. You, too. I want to go out tomorrow. I think that would be a great idea. It's good gonna be wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long it takes them to say goodbye just to sleep. I think they'll be awake for a long time and they've got plenty of energy, but I'm about to fall asleep at any time. Wow, Mikey. Well, he didn't lie. He passed out as soon as I touched him. I think I should get some sleep too. I'm really tired. It was a very exhausting adventure that I didn't really enjoy because of the house burning down so well. 
What happened here? Why is my house on fire? I didn't leave anything cooking in the cauldron. Why do I smell someone else's odor? I'll find those pests and cook them in the cauldron and eat them for daring to burn down my house. I promise. God, all my books, all my potions. I kept so much in there. I can literally feel their essence in the air. I'll follow the scent and find those little vandals. And I swear they'll brew me every potion and copy every magic book I have until they faint. God, I'm so angry right now. I need to focus on finding them. I feel like they came here. They live around here. Well, hang on, you'll get it. Well, 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 who's here to give you a potion of madness? Or worse, or boil you? Well, I have one potion of insanity, so funny. Look at them. Honey, you look like Patrick, as cute as you are. Do I look like Patrick? Oh my god, that was the worst compliment ever. All right, I'll never say nice things to you again. Okay, I'm sorry, that was a nice compliment. Uh, thank you. That's great. Ha ha ha. This is the best cartoon ever. Stupid people. They burned down my house, and now they're sitting around watching a stupid cartoon. Ha ha ha. This cartoon is really cool. Ha ha. Yeah, it's a real family of idiots. But these adults are too stupid to set my house on fire. Someone else did it. And I can feel that someone is on the second floor. I smell that odor of two pranksters who don't care what they do. You're not getting away from me. Ha ha ha. I heard someone's voice. It's from a cartoon. Well, well, well. Who's sleeping quietly? Two seemingly harmless children. But in reality, they're dangerous criminals. Are you sleeping well in your own home? I don't have one of my own. These criminals need to be punished. And I know what kind of punishment to give them. Ha ha ha. Everything was fine. I was brewing potions, growing mushrooms, and then you came. I hate you so much. Stupid, restless, naughty children. I wish you all the worst. My worst potion from my collection. I have no idea what it does. Maybe it will turn you into frogs, or maybe you'll become big monsters. But I don't care at all. I hope your life is ruined forever on this one. Nah, that's it! Take that, you stupid kids! Oh my god! This potion stinks like rotten eggs! I've got to get out of here so I don't get infected with this stuff! Good luck to you! <laughs> I hope I don't see you! Bye bye, losers! I'm gonna go find myself a new super cool house! It would be very interesting to see what happens to these little buggers, but I have to look for a new house! Hee <laughs> hee! My revenge is complete! I should have poisoned their parents too! It's their fault for not watching their kids! But I'm too lazy to do it anymore! The next day! Oh, I slept so well! Good morning, everybody! I smell really weird, although I always stink. Oh, I have to hurry to school. I almost forgot about it. I also have to wake up this green dude as soon as possible. Mikey, wake up. We're late for school. Wake up quickly. Oh, don't touch me again. I'm awake and full of energy. And why did we wake up so early? I told you, we have to get to school right now. Then we need to get our school bags out. I've had them ready since yesterday. Oh, Mikey, that's what we need. I know you never do your homework or study for school. Of course. Why would I do that when I have such a good brain? Brother. Here's your school bag with your books, JJ. Everything's already packed inside. Thanks, Mikey. I prepared the same school bag for myself. Mikey, don't you ever take a rest? No, I want to spend my life studying. <laughs> that was really funny. We just haven't unpacked our briefcases since the day before. Good morning, children. Are you ready for school already? Don't you ah, see? They're ready to that's go. That's none of your business, stupid daddy. And you, green stinker. I would have pooped in his school bag. Uh, what? Nah, you deserve it. <laughs> What's going on? Why is JJ nah. acting? like this because i hate you all so much get out i can't stand the sight of you calm down kid otherwise we'll punish you yeah we're gonna beat your butt with a belt what you don't dare do this to me come here you cannot talk like that oh yeah i can talk to this thing any way i want i think this knife will be sharp enough to stab these idiots jj was normal at the beginning and then he became evil it's all the fault of computer games no more computer games oh no he's got a knife ha 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 you're not so brave now are you jj put the knife down be a good Boy. A good boy? Ha ha ha. I'm a very bad boy today. We'll do whatever you say. Just don't stab us with that knife. Oh yeah. You must be obedient bunnies. Five minutes later. That's it. Now you're not gonna get in trouble with me. Ha 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 JJ became crazy in a second. I've just kept putting up with your disgusting faces for my whole life. JJ, untie us now. Ha 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 ha. What else can I do for you? Should I dance in front of you? Ha 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 ha. You don't have to dance. Just be a normal JJ. Just like you were before. Oh, okay. Now I'm being kind again. Yay! Our JJ is back. We're saved. Ha 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 ha. Stupid fool fell Ouch. for a stupid joke. Ha ha ha. You'll stay here forever. What are we gonna eat all this time? Please, at least let me go. And let mom and dad stay here. What? Ha ha ha. How pathetic you all are. You'll never get out of this rotten basement. Why did I put up with them for so long? I should have done it sooner. Now I'm going to go watch cartoons. I don't have to go to school now. Now. 
We'll stay here forever, and no one will help us. I'm already hungry. You're just thinking about food, Dad. It's not my fault I'm always wanting to eat something. Forget the food. We need to think of a way out of here. I can't think of anything else. I haven't even had breakfast. Oh my god, we're totally screwed. Ow, 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 ow. I'm finally free of these tight ropes. Wow, way to go, Mikey. Now find some food for me. No, you better get us off the ropes. No, you'd better sit here, because I have an ingenious plan. What do you think you're doing? Hurry up and untie us. A little later, Dad. Hey, guys. While my parents are rotting in the basement, I'm doing some really cool stuff. And that's watching cartoons. Look at them hitting each other. Soon I'll be hitting Mom, Dad, and Mikey like this. Ha ha ha! It's so much fun. What is that? Is someone banging on the pipes? Ha 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 ha! The underground villagers as my family won't rest. Time to calm them all down a bit. Hey, are you guys out of your minds? Are you stopping me from watching cartoons? And why is the basement door open? Uh, hi, we're doing good. I don't get it. Where's the green stinker? He was sitting next to you. Please, JJ, just be quiet. Shut up. You're nobody to tell me how to behave. I'm hungry. Bring me something. Are you an idiot? I won't do anything to you. Why don't you untie us? We'll get out of here sooner or later. What are you talking about? I'll never... Never. Now that was a real punch. I think it was painful to get hit over the head with a frying pan. But I think JJ deserved it. I mean, he called me a stinker. And it's not nice to insult me. Mikey, you're doing a great job. It's finally over. Let's celebrate with a delicious dinner. Oh my god, stop thinking about food, honey. No! Ten hours later. Oh yeah, I'm very cute and you're a freak, JJ. Hey, I was actually paying you a compliment. You should tell me the same thing back. No one asked you to call me cute. I wanted to say it myself. Oh, you could cry right now now. No, I'm just never going to say a nice word to you. I've had enough of them, the girls tell me. And I'll say it again. I don't need those words from you. Oh, what the hell is that? One diamond vacation? Wow, that's so cheap. I think we should go there. Oh, yeah, we should go there. I've never seen a diamond in the rough. I wish I was splashing around in the ocean on some paradise island. Or somewhere on a cruise ship to sunbathe would be cool. Wait, no one's going to sell you a vacation for one diamond. This is some kind of scam. They'll probably kidnap us and do horrible experiments on us. I don't think so, JJ. You've been watching your horror movies at night again. Well, I don't know. Stop second-guessing yourself, JJ. Imagine how much fun we're gonna have there. Okay, you talked me into it. Let's go there. Then we need to get our stuff together. We'll meet you back here when we're ready. Okay, hopefully we'll be done in just about ten minutes. I think that's enough. Just hurry up, Mikey. Oh, he left without even saying goodbye to me. He wants this vacation so badly. Friends, where would you like to go on vacation? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to hurry up and pack all my stuff for the trip. I need to pack shorts, swim trunks, t-shirts, and sunglasses. I hope that's enough. Three hours later. Ugh, I've been packing for too long. What would you take with you on a trip? Write about it in the comments. I think I've been packing for so long that it's already gotten dark. That's not good. Okay, it's time to come out. Oh, who's that? Maybe it's Mikey all packed up and waiting for me. Did you fall asleep in there? Oh no, I'm gonna open the door. I'm awake. Stop calling already. Hello again. Hey, I'm already packed. That's a lot of stuff. Two suitcases. I only have one. After all, I needed to put my computer and a couple toys in there. Why do you need a computer in there? Oh my god! How do you expect me to play computer games on this vacation? Don't play games at all. We're gonna be relaxing on the beach. Okay, you're starting to whine again. Let's get to the train station. All right, let's go. I think the trains run even at night. Wow, I didn't know we had such a big, cool train station. Because you've lived in our little town your whole life. Then I should get out of my house more often. And why does it say British Railroad Tracks? We live in America. Maybe this train station is so ancient that the British built it. Oh no, Mikey, look, our train's canceled. We can't go anywhere. Uh, that's really sad. It took us so long to get together. All to look at that stupid sign. Canceled? Why was the train canceled? What are we supposed to do now? Sleep at the train station. No, we're not homeless. We're gonna have to go back home, Mikey. We'll save up and go go to the seaside a little later. Still, I'm very sad. <laughs> then stay with me, guys. There's a stinky bum in here with us. Hey, guys, I live here, by the way, because it's really warm. <laughs> Look, he's funny. You know, I used to want to go home to my family, and then my train got canceled. Oh, my God.
God, we understand you. I hate canceled trains. We really feel sorry for you, man. You know, you could give me a diamond if you really feel sorry for me. I'm saving up for a new ticket to see my family again. Unfortunately, these dumpsters don't have any money in them at all. I go through them every day. No one is going to throw money down the drain. Yeah, well, that's kind of stupid. Maybe we should give him our diamond. We're never going to be able to go on our vacation anyway. Look, you're right. He's going to need that diamond a lot more than we do. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, you kind people. Now I can see my family. We are happy to help people in need at all times. Thank you so much again. Good things always come back to people. Actually, it's my diamond. All right. Good luck, man. Hey, where are you going? You were going to buy a train ticket. Ha ha. Looks like you've been scammed out of a diamond, JJ. Oh, my God. I'm already regretting listening to you, Mikey. Oh, what the hell is that? It sounds like a train horn. Then let's run faster that way. We need to get on any train to get away from here. Are you serious? It's a completely random train. I don't care. I'm in the mood for any kind of travel already. Uh, okay. But I don't see any trains here. Then who's been honking so loud? Looks like this is the train that rumbled on arrival at the station. Oh, my God. The train has a, a face and there's blood coming out of its eyes. What the hell is that? I don't know. This train is just too creepy. He's covered in blood, like he's been hitting people every day. I'm not getting on that train. God, I've seen this train somewhere before. Maybe in some cartoon on TV. No, there's no way in hell I'm getting in that. Let's go home. It's too scary a train. Yeah, you're right. Let's go home. This whole vacation idea was ruined in the first place when they canceled our train. You know, I've been thinking. There's no place like our hometown, because it's given us too many emotions and adventures. Adventures. Oh, yeah. Our town is the best in the world. Oh, yeah. I'm sure a new adventure will catch up with us sooner or later. But I'd like to sleep first. Ow! Mikey, where are you? Did you fall in the pit? Yeah, somebody dug a hole here. I'm fine. Get me out of here. Okay, just stay there and don't go anywhere. I'll get someone to help you. Okay, just hurry up, please. This is where I get really scared. It smells like something. It's very damp and there are a lot of rats. Just be patient. I'll call the police and they'll get you out. Oh, then what are you waiting Waiting for. Hurry up and call everyone you can find. Okay, just stop worrying and pressuring me. I need to emergency call the police. I think someone dug that hole for a reason. I should be careful. There's also water dripping everywhere. It's like a bunch of water's gonna fall on me from the ceiling. I hate sitting around here. I'm afraid some train might derail me. Hey, ha ha ha, are you waiting here for me? Oh, what the hell is that? Would you like to ride me? I promise you'll really enjoy it. Oh my God, you're such a freak. You're that ugly train. Am I creepy? Ha ha ha! And for that you will pay! I have some idea! Ha ha ha! Oh no! Ow! Ouch! Ah! Stop yelling! It's gonna feel good! Ha 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 ha! Sheriff, there's a hole right here where my friend fell in. Oh, that's too bad. Show me that hole right now. Um, I hope we're talking about the same hole. Ha ha ha! So you want me to look at the other holes? No, just this hole. Someone dug it. My friend's in there. Save him! But there's no one here. Then who am I supposed to save? You called me here for no reason? He's definitely sitting there. He must have fallen asleep. You've gotta be kidding me. You can't even yell back at us. This is some kind of prank. No, this is not a prank. Save my friend now. Hey, Mikey, yell something. We're gonna save you now. So what? You're the only one yelling. Ha ha ha. Anyway, if you call me up again for nothing, I'll put you in jail. Hey, you can't just leave him. Don't walk away or he'll be crushed by a train. I don't care. I'm going to bed. Ha ha ha. Oh my God. All cops are so lazy. You can't rely on them at all. What am I supposed to do now? Now Mikey's freezing somewhere. I feel so sorry for him. Friends, would you jump in that hole? for Mikey? Write about it in the comments. I would do anything to save my best friend because I always have to protect him. I gotta jump in there after all. Oh, I'm so scared of this. Let's go. Ah, that was painful. I think I twisted my leg. Whoa, it's so deep in here. Where's Mikey? Did he really disappear? Why did I jump in here? The dripping water from above alarms me. It's like the ceiling is going to break under the pressure of the water. If I go forward, it's going to take a few days. Hello, JJ. Long time no see. He he he. What? Mikey? Is that you? Oh my god. What is this? Mikey turned into a train? What kind of freak is that? I want to play catch up with you. If I get you, you die. He he he. What? Stop. I'm your friend, JJ. Remember me. Game starts, JJ. You better start running. Choo choo. Oh my god. I hate trains. Oh no. Let's run. That's it. As long as you run, you live. Choo choo. Somebody, please help me. Oh my god. I've been running for two hours. I'm gonna run out of energy. And I still have a lot of energy in me to play catch up with you, JJ. Oh no, not again. Oh, there's a train station up ahead. This is my safety. Aren't you having fun playing with me? No, I'm not 
having fun at all because Crazy Train Mikey wants to kill me. But wait, guys, I just had a brilliant idea. A train can only run on tracks. Don't even think about it. Oh, yeah, I won. Ha ha ha, you can't get me here. You stupid train. It's because I have legs. Because I'm so much smarter than Mikey. Get out of here, I'm safe now. Don't think you've outsmarted Mikey. Thomas the train has taught me all the wisdom of life. What? This can't be happening. Come here, you stupid little man. Trains are way cooler in everything, baby. Oh, no. I didn't see that coming. Where am I supposed to go now? Your place is under my wheels. I'm going to crush you to a pulp. Oh, no. Mikey, please don't touch me. I'm your friend. I wanted to save you. Remember when we wanted to go on vacation together? It was all in the past. Now I'm Mikey Steamroller. Calm down, you infernal steam engine. And you, get back. This is going to be a real man to man conversation. <laughs> I will protect you, my friend. Just step aside. What the hell is going on here? How are you going to protect Ouch. me? That was painful. What did you throw at him? He calmed down for some reason. And what's that flying? Whoa, Mikey, what was that? Ha, it's a secret. Oh my God, okay, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that Mikey's back to normal. And what am I doing here? He doesn't remember anything. That's normal. What I'm supposed to remember. You turned into a scary spiked train that wanted to kill me. It was very frightening. Ha ha ha. Hmm, this all sounds like complete nonsense. It doesn't matter. You better not fall into that pit again. And I've got money to find in these dumps. Ha ha ha. Um, that homeless guy saved my life and yours, even though he's weird. <laughs> I love digging through the trash. You looked like that steam train with the bloody spots. We met him today when we were going on vacation. This whole vacation thing is a bunch of crap. Let's go play on the computer. Oh, yeah. That's actually the first sensible thought I've had today. Let's go, Mikey. Seven months later. We decided to take a little walk around the village, hoping to find something interesting. Hi, somewhere near Amfo. Hey guys, what are we doing today? We want to take a walk and figure something out. I suggest we go on our journey already. We won't be standing for long. Let's go already. I have a feeling it's going to be something interesting. Let's go. What would you like to do today? I'd like to defeat some villains. And you're Afmau? I'd like to just spend time with my friends. Uh, guys, have you seen this here before? What are you talking about? About this store. I've never seen him here before. Where did he come from? Why don't we go in and take a look? Is it open? Yeah, it's open. Let's go in. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I like it. Let's see what's interesting. Maybe we can get something there. I don't think we need to go in there. Let's move on. I'm going to go check it out. I brought one diamond with me. I don't want to go there. Go alone. Afmau, come with us. We'll just have a look. I'm tired of waiting for you. Let's go quickly. Afmau doesn't want to come with us. Okay, I'll go in there with you. Yay, let's go. Welcome to the Secret Skibidi Shop. JJ, look how cool this place is. Yeah, Mikey, it's cool here, but look how expensive it is. But look how cool the costumes are. The costumes are really very cool. I wonder if we'll have enough for anything. Check out the discount on the robot builder. The discount is really big. Are we going to be able to get one? Yeah, go buy it. Here's the diamond. Anything you picked out for yourself? We'd like to purchase that designer. The one that's on sale. That's a great choice. I'll count it for you now. That'll be one diamond. Take it, please. Give us our robot. One moment, gentlemen. I'll box him up. I already want to start assembling it. Your purchase. Please take it. Thank you. Let's go to my place right now and get it together. I'm all for it. It's a good suggestion. Let's move out now. Let's go. Guys, what about our walk? We can go out later. I thought we had plans with you today. I think we can reschedule our plans. That's right. We've got more important things to do right now. Come on, let's hurry up and put it together. I'll play with him all day long. Hurry up, hurry up. I, I thought we were going out with you guys today. Bye, Afmau. See you later. Come on, JJ. We got a lot to do. I'm keeping up with you, Mikey. So my mouse trap worked. Looks like something interesting is about to happen in this village. It's going to be very interesting to watch this, but it's time for me to close up shop now. We're almost to the house. We'll start assembling soon. I can't wait to start assembling the constructor already. How long do you think we can do this in? You and I need to get through this quickly. I sure hope so. Let's go down the hall. Here, I think there's enough room to put it together. It'll be much more comfortable here. Then we'll launch it right away. Oh, good. Then I'll put the box here. Do you have all the tools? Everything you need is in the kit, even batteries. I wonder why it was so discounted. Maybe he's just alone. Maybe it is as long as it's in good working order. I think he's perfectly fine. Well then, let's get to assembling it right now. Let's get started. Two hours later. I think we're done with the assembly. Look how cool he turned out. It actually turned out really cool. It's a shame Amao didn't come with us. That's right, let's get it up and running. I think it turns on right here. Yay, it's working. Look how cool his moves are. I like him a lot. I'm glad we got him. I'm very happy too, it's like a new friend. 
I think there's something wrong with him. Where did he go? Mistake, error. What's happening to him? I don't understand anything. I think we wired something wrong. <gasps> he doesn't seem to be feeling well at all. I wonder if we'll be able to fix it. Well, it doesn't have such a complicated mechanism. What's that supposed to mean? I know what to do. I'm gonna fix it. Mikey, be careful. This could be dangerous. Okay, I think this wire here is loose. So let's take a look. Mikey, what's this? What's going on? Holy mother spaghetti. What is that? What's Mikey? I can't let go of him. I'm drawn to him. I don't know what to do. Try to pull me away. Yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on a second. Hurry up. I don't feel good. We got hit pretty good. Haha, <laughs> the plan worked. What have you done to us? No need to skimp on robots, losers. What do you mean? Have fun, boys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Mikey, are you okay? I've never felt like this before. Did you feel that rush of energy too? Oh yes, I want to rule this world. Let's electrocute Aphmau too. Oh yeah, come on. Then let's go to her quickly. Let's go. I'm sure she'll really enjoy it. I wonder if she's home right now. She should be home by now since we didn't go out. Her house will be perfect for our base later. Let's go finish our plan. Yeah, let's knock first. As long as no one sees us. Looks like it's all clear. Up, Mao, open up. It's us, Mikey and JJ. Come out here. Let's go for a walk. We're done playing with the robot. Come out. I don't think she's home. I think someone's coming. Boys, what's so noisy? Oh my God, what's wrong with you? We have learned the power. We'll electrocute you and you'll be the same. Come with us. No, 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 get out of here. Uh-huh, I don't think she's being nice. So we're gonna have to do this the bad way. Come on, Mikey. Show her what it means to say no to us. Well, well, who's being so badly behaved? No, don't touch me. Get out of here. We only want to help you. Yes, how's that? By frying you with electricity. It will hurt at first, but then you'll know what we're talking about. Don't touch me, please. Looks like she's not planning on going herself. I guess I'll have to do it without asking her. I agree with you. What the hell are you? She yelled too much. I did everything. Good job. You did a good job. What's next? Let's get her. I've got an idea. What did you come up with? I'll tell you all about it on the way. All clear. We can get to work. All right. I'm bringing her in. So what do you want to do with her? I think it's possible to draw current through the battery. What if we built an electric chair? Oh, that's a very good idea. We'll charge it with the battery. Then we can store more energy. You're right. But we have to remember that we're doing this as a joke. Just in time for us to build our chair. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's get a move on. She mustn't wake up. We have to get her tied up in time. Uh, honey, look at this. What is it? You didn't find these guys suspicious? I think they're just regular. Then why are they dragging the girl? Hmm, really, why do they do that? Maybe they're playing? I don't think so. There's something fishy going on here. We need to follow them. Well, here we are with our equipment assembled. Time to get up. No more sleeping. What's going on? You're our prisoner now. Let me go. Alas, that's not possible. What but why? What did I do to you? JJ, explain to her. The battery is practically loaded and soon you'll be like us. You don't have to make me the same. And it doesn't matter whether you want to or not. We're the ones who decide everything here. I want to go home. I don't want you to make fun of me. Where are we on the battery charge? It's almost done. All right, stay near the lever. We'll be done soon. That's enough. Let me go. A little more and they'll stop talking like that. You and I are the ultimate villains. But the villains have to be defeated by someone. No one's seen us, so I think we're going to play Aphmau pretty good. Help me, somebody, save me. Okay, this has gone too far. We have to do something. What do you suggest we do? We have to stop their shenanigans. Let's call the police. Good idea, I'll call the police right away. Are we all set? Practically. Just kidding, that's enough, let me go. JJ, I'm almost done, when do we start? In three, two, what? What's that sound? I think it's coming from over there. Oh no, it's the police. How did they know we were here? Has someone ratted us out? I don't understand anything. Everybody stay where you are. You're under arrest. Officer, we didn't do anything. It's just a prank. You expect me to believe that? You'll tell it in court. It's all of them. They kidnapped me. That's it, sideways now. We really didn't do anything. It's just a bad joke. I won't believe it, you'll be detained. We really didn't wish harm on anyone. Help me please, I'll tell you all about them. Now ma'am, I'll untie you. Is that better? Thank you, that's much better. So what did you want to tell me about them? Afmal, we were just kidding. Officer, it's all of them. They kidnapped me and wanted to torture me, punish them. We didn't mean to scare you. You're lying. 
We'll deal with you at the station. What? That's right, JJ. Any evil jokes are always punished. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Hi, Mikey. Hey, JJ, don't be a snail. Hurry up. But where are we going in such a hurry, Mikey? That's because our parents are waiting for us. Oh. They have something cool in store for us. Do you know what it could be? Oh, hmm. No, I don't know, JJ. Hmm. Let's go inside and find out. Uh, okay. I'm sure it's something just incredible. What makes you think that? Because our mom said it's something that's going to blow our minds. Really? Yeah. I can't wait any longer to find out what it's going to be. Come on. Yay. I'm excited. Uh, JJ, can you smell that flavor? It smells good. Oh, mom's food is the best. Kids, you're back from your walk just in time. You've got to love it. We have a little surprise for you today. We're going to the Museum of Skibidi Toilets. Oh, my God. Huh. Are you excited? Of course I'm glad. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Mikey, this is really incredible. Well, I'm not as impressed as you, but I'm still impressed. When are we going to hit the road? Right now. Cool. Follow us. Uh. Let's go. Mikey, you just don't know how long I've waited for this moment. Mommy, Mommy. Are we ever going to go watch the parade? Well, I haven't heard of us having such events. I'd like to go to the parade, too. We're going to the museum. It's a dream of mine. Mikey, do we even have parades? I have no idea, JJ. Oh, uh, what? I just want to see an event like this. Oh. But I think I'll like the restroom museum, too. Let's go. I also think that the museum will be interesting. There should be a lot of different exhibits. Let's go. Hours later. When are they gonna fix these roads? Daddy! Oh, kids, are you okay? You didn't feel sick on the way here? I'm fine. That's great. I'm fine, too. Oh, that makes me very happy. We're here, by the way. Oh, my God. They say it ranges from the most innocuous to the most dangerous Skibidi toys. <gasps> JJ, I'm already anxious to see all the exhibits there. Kids, come here. We're here. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, we've been waiting for you. Kids, keep up with us or you'll get lost. Oh, hmm. Uh, okay. All right, let's go. Mikey, are you ready? Sure, let's go. Yeah. Wow, where should we go first? Wow, Mikey. There is so much here. Is there any navigation? Here? Yes, we were supposed to be met. But he's not here. Hello, visitor of our beautiful museum. Hello. Hello, Uncle. Are you here by appointment? Yes, we have an appointment at 4.30 p.m., Uncle. That's right. Okay, I hear you. And don't call me Uncle Kid. You got that, Mikey? Yes. Yes, we're all ready to go. Great. Now that you're all ready, let's dive into the wonderful world of the Skibidi Toilet Museum. Cool! Kids, all of these exhibits are not real, not living things, so don't be afraid of anything. Uh, okay. All the Skibidi Toilets shown here are just a fraction of the real thing. <gasps> After various iconic battles, we take only a part and reconstruct it to recreate the approximate look of the Skibidi Toilets. Is this the Hall of Default Skibidi Toilets? That's right, young visitor. Wow! Now you're going to look at the most mediocre Skibidi Toilet of them all. G-Man is the largest among Skibidi Toilets. Oh my god! He is best known for his power and signature lasers. Wow. And this guy is dangerous. I agree. I like it. Let's move on to the next exhibit. Okay, okay. The DJ is the enemy of all speakers. Mine and daddy's enemy. Because he is not affected by their beeps. Oh. Uh, they say he just liked music. Hee hee hee. Hmm. Maybe this toilet would make a better DJ. The next toilet is just as interesting. But only JJ is looking at him. Mikey. Relax. Cool Skibidi. Oh, huh. Hmm. He's the coolest because he wears glasses and he's not affected by TV men's lasers. Look at his dark glasses. Cool. Not exactly an easy opponent. Yes, especially for me. Next, the most innocuous of all the toilets. Hmm. Skibidi Baby. Uh. He doesn't have any powers. He's just a baby. Oh, he's so defenseless. A common Skibidi or normal Skibidi toilet. What's his power? Just a regular toilet. Well. The Skibidi Angel is a very nasty foe as he has a deadly white beam in his arsenal and can teleport like an Enderman. All of these toilets are so interesting. Did you both enjoy it that much? Yeah, I play with them. But don't let your guard down because they're dangerous too. Huh, but now they're just dull. I'm not scared. Now that you've seen it all, let's go to the next room. Okay, let's go. It's right next to the one we're in now. Yay! Yeah! Here is one of the most dangerous of the Skibidi toilets. Oh! The Blender Skibidi is one of the most dangerous Skibidi of all. Why? Its claws spinning fast and grinding everything in its path. Oh my god! That's really cool! Thank you for being one over. Hmm, is that all there is to it? Hmm, of course, that's not all. Follow me. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I've told you about the most basic Skibidi toilets that exist. Now we'll take a closer look at the boss toilets. <gasps> Sauce Skibidi has a huge saw at the base of his toilet body, destructive power shared in the weapons in his hands. Hmm. Skibidi Fire strikes its enemies with flamethrowers whose heat reaches temperatures of thousands of degrees. Wow, that sounds dangerous. Skibidi Saw version 2 has two saws already, unlike its counterpart. Oh, he reminds me of someone. This? Ah, now it's all clear. Two saws twice as dangerous. Nice. Let's move on. The Skibidi Spider is a danger to the slower guys as it can reach long distances with its large claws. Wow, what a scary guy. You don't have to worry. It's only a model. Yes, you're right. It's a good thing they've already been defeated. We're lucky. <clears throat> 
That's the end of the tour. Tell me, my young visitors, did you both enjoy it? Yes, it was very interesting. Thank you, Uncle, for showing and telling us about everything here. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, why, Uncle? Oh, ha, ha. oh you're just in time. Guys, how was the museum tour? This man told us so much about bosses and regular toilets. It was amazing. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, thank you for the praise. If our kids say that, then you really did a good job. Our kids don't often admire something so much, so we really do appreciate you. Goodbye. Come again. Mikey, I didn't realize it was dark. Yes, it was that interesting. It's been a busy day. Yeah. Let's all go home together to rest. Yeah, I'm very tired. We'll be home soon. Don't worry. Okay, Mom. JJ, we saw so many interesting things today. Yeah. I'm just a mess with so much information. Viewers, did you remember all the skibbity toilets that the guide showed? Write the number of them in the comments. Here it is, home sweet home. Children, it's so late. Aren't you tired? Mommy, I'm tired. I'm tired too. It's pretty dark already. Let's go to bed already. Yes, my warm crib is waiting for me. Huh, our bed missed us too. I can't wait to go to bed. I'm tired too. Let's go. Mikey, who did you like the best? Let's go. Oh, hmm. Well, I was most impressed with the Skibidi Angel. Wow, yeah, he's awesome. Well, children, we wish you good night and sweet dreams. May bad dreams pass you by. Yes, good night. Wow, thanks, Dad and Mom. Sweet dreams to you too. Shall we go, JJ? Oh, sure. We're in for some interesting Skibidi toilet dreams. Uh, what makes you say that, Mikey? After all, we've been hearing about these toilets all evening, and quite rightly, if we dream about them tonight. Oh, I can't wait to dream about those toilets. It would be cool if we could dream about fighting them. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Mikey. He's already asleep. Wow. It's a good thing we live in a time of peace when Skibidi toilets are almost non-existent. I can sleep in peace. <coughs> oh my head good morning i guess I don't feel so good. I dreamt I was a skibidi toilet nightmare. Mikey, can you hear me? Hmm. Get up. I got something to tell you. Oh, hmm. Good morning, JJ. I had such a cool dream. Hmm. I was defeating giant skibidi toilets in my sleep. Oh, my God. It was mega cool. Mikey, you're so cruel. Don't be weird, JJ. Let's go to breakfast. You're the weird one. Uh, okay. I guess you're in a bad mood today. I'm totally fine. Good morning. Stop saying that. What? Kids, what's going on here? It's okay, Mom. It's just JJ's not in the mood. He's lying. I'm fine. <gasps> I don't know what happened, but let's not fight and let's go to breakfast. Hmm. Okay, Dad, I'm just hungry. Oh, then let's go to breakfast. Hmm. Only after you all go. Uh, okay. That goes for you, too. JJ, stop acting like this. It's not funny. <clears throat> I'm serious. Let's better enjoy the wonderful breakfast our mom made for us. I agree. <laughs> it looks amazing. Isn't the food poisoned? JJ, what makes you think mom wants to poison you? Because it doesn't have to be that way. JJ, what are you talking about? You're all just awful. Okay, what kind of behavior is this? Mom, there's something wrong with me. JJ, what's wrong with you? Oh, Mikey, I told you I feel weird. You're all a bunch of fools. What? I hate all of you. JJ, calm down. Just try anything I don't want you to do and you're finished. <gasps> oh my god, JJ, calm down. Do you understand? Yes. Everybody out of the table. No sudden movements. movements. Keep your hands up where I can see them. Okay, okay. Everyone should raise their hands. Baby, it's okay. We did it. Don't you dare call me that. Oh. Don't even think about placating me. I can barely hold it together. What can we do to make you calm down? Slowly make your way to the top floor. It's all clear. No accidents, okay? It's very clear. We're on our way. JJ, I'm really scared. Please stop these jokes. I'm not kidding. I'll shoot you if you dare do anything wrong. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> stop crying or you're finished. Mommy. Who else wants to cry? Be quiet. Two hours later. Attack! Hmm. <laughs> What do you think of that? It was unbeatable. I'm discouraged. It was incredible. Huh, beautiful, wonderful. Do you like it? But I have a feeling you're all lying to me. Wait, why? Why don't I do something terrible so you'll stop deceiving me? My boy, there's no need to do that. We will obey you. I'll be right back, and I want you to stay where you are. Okay, okay. We'll pick up some more interesting stuff to play around with. Oh, when is this going to end? Mom, he'll destroy us if we don't call for help. Honey, I'm afraid Mikey's right. I'll call 
I'll help. Don't worry about me. But how do you do it? Mikey? You've seen what I can do. Whoa. Well done. I'll be back as soon as I find help. Keep distracting him as long as possible. All right, be careful. And hurry up. I'll be right back. Oh, my boy. What are we going to do when JJ spots Mikey missing? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's too bad. Who knows what's in that boy's head? Five minutes later. Too bad I didn't find anything. Well, that means I'll play you with what I've got so far. Oh, no. Did you miss me? Of course we missed you. Wait a second. Where is he? Who are you talking about? There was no one here. Where did he go? I don't know. What's that? Oh, well, finally. Oh, so you knew everything. You tricked me. JJ. I'm not going to hold back anymore. Everybody stay where you are. Oh, my God. Don't move, boy. You've got nowhere to run. Drop your weapon. Whoa, ha, ha. Thank you, sir. Drop the gun, boy. JJ, do it and nothing bad will happen to you. Uh, okay. Do you have anything to say for yourself? They drove me crazy. I slept in this house and woke up like this. Hmm, interesting, interesting. It's their fault. Oh, my boy. What happened to you? It wasn't me. JJ, we're going to help. Mikey, we watch cartoons every day. Yes, money, money, that's money, interesting. Money. I'm getting a little sick of it. You don't like cookies? No, the cookies are delicious. Then what's the problem? But I don't have enough fun in my life. We recently learned at school how caterpillars become butterflies. Hmm. Isn't that interesting and fun? Well, it's interesting, but it's no fun at all. Hmm. Don't you want to watch the news on TV? Uh, look. Oh, let's look the news. Today, we opened a new playground in the village of Sector B. The playground is equipped with all necessary entertainment for children. Slides, ladders, swings, and a small picnic area. The locals are very complimentary and encourage everyone to visit the playground. Oh my god! Mikey, that's exactly what I'm missing right now. Would you like to go there with me? The grounds look really cool. Yeah! Let's ask our parents' permission and go there together. It said some Sector B. It's the neighboring village. Oh! Don't worry, I know the way because I've been there before. Cool! All that's left is to convince mom and dad to let us go and we can hit the road. Then you ask them. Hmm, okay, no problem. Then do I call them? But you help me if you need it. Daddy and Mommy, we have a favor to ask. What's the matter? We really want to go to the new playground in Sector B. It was on TV. I know the way there. May we please? <laughs> oh, well, if Mikey knows the way, good. Yeah. But don't stay there too long, okay? Uh, okay. What do you think, darling? Hmm. Just be careful, and if anything, don't be shy to ask us for help. Yay, let's get over there. Thank you. Thank you for letting us. Well, we better go before it gets too dark. Bye. It was even easier than I thought it would be. I agree. Let's ride the bikes instead of walking. Oh, no. Don't worry. We won't go as fast as we usually do. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Mikey, you didn't even let me say anything right now. Oh, hmm. I don't like it. I'm just really excited. Huh, I won't hide the fact that I'm agitated too. Ooh, then use all that energy to catch up with me today. Mikey, no! Huh, it's going to be a great race. Mikey's racer versus JJ's racer. Oh my god. The race is just seconds away. Uh, let's go! Mikey, that's not fair. You talk about the race and you start before I do. <laughs> oh, so you did it on purpose. Hmm, anything can happen. You'll see. I'll be there first. Two hours later. I forgot something. I can't be the first in our slide since I don't know the way. My plan is over. And by the way, where are we? Oh, we're already in the right place. Huh, JJ, how'd you like our trip? Mikey, it doesn't matter at all right now. Look at this set. Let's hurry up and go play there. There's so many kids here. Apparently they saw the morning news about this playground too. Yeah, it's totally possible. Yay! They're all so cool. Things are so lively here, I'm a little confused. I'd like to be friends with each and every one of them. JJ, we won't have a day to make friends with all of them. Hmm, all right, let's play. Hmm, where should we go? There's a free swing over there. Come on, let's get in there before the place is full. Why don't we take the stairs? No, a swing is better than a ladder. Okay, okay. Yeah. Guys, look over there. Huh, what? Oh, no, it's those bullies. These guys don't look friendly. No, run. Hurry uh, up. What's going on? Run quickly, you fools. These guys are bad. What's wrong with them? Mikey, they just ran away. Well, look at me, you little man. Uh, he didn't even notice what's me. What's a cookie guy? Do you think maybe we should teach him a good lesson about respecting his elders? Oh, my God. What did you just say? Oh, no. <laughs> You're just two little kids who don't know adult rules yet. What can we do to get you to let us go? Give us all your money. Oh. Yeah, give it all you've got. But our mom gave them to us. Oh. Don't you dare cross us or you'll get hurt worse than you are now. Do you understand? Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'll give you the money. Just stop hitting us, please. That's where the dialogue should have started. And don't come here again. This is our playground. Stop. What? I'm not going to repeat myself. Uh. I don't want to see your faces around here anymore, okay? Okay. And you know, if you somehow end up back here again, hmm. I'll leave no stone unturned. Okay, we get it. Stop it. Don't you dare shut the big C up. Here's your share, Brother M. What I don't get is, you can't get out of your seat because you're scared? I'll move them. Oh, no. Oh, what cowardly boys. No! Ah! How many times can you beat me up? Mikey, are you okay? Oh, hmm. These guys were just awful. Hmm. It's so unfair we couldn't even hit them back. JJ, I gave them all the money I've been saving for a month. Oh, my God. Let's just go home. But, Mikey, what about the playground? What can I say? We can't be here anymore. I'm very upset. Mikey! <laughs> it's okay, JJ. Let's just go home. <laughs> Mikey, everything's gonna be all right. You'll see. JJ, things couldn't be
be worse right now. Oh, Mikey, I'll help you save money again. Don't get so upset. Oh, I can't think of anything else but this situation. I know how you feel. Let's go home. Mikey, look, I almost caught up with you. Apparently, it's because I have no energy at all. Uh, JJ, hmm. you know I've been doing a lot of thinking, and I realized I want to say thank you so much for your support. I'm glad I was able to help you in some way. Yeah, thank you. Oh, would you like to ride bikes some more then? Hmm, no, JJ. I'm not really in the mood for this right now. I'm just going to go sit in our room. Don't worry about me. Uh, but Mikey... I'm done talking. I'll see you later. See ya. But if anything, I'll sit here. Okay, JJ. Oh, my God. Mikey is so very upset. Why am I still so small? If I was big and grown up, I could answer to those bullies. But unfortunately, I can't do anything about it now. Poor Mikey. If I had the power, I could have helped you then. I'm just a terrible brother and friend. What are you berating yourself for, boy? Uh, Don't be afraid me. You're an evil skibbity wizard. I'm a great wizard. I can give you anything you want. Oh, can you make me big? Of course, I have just the right potion with me. Cool. One drop is enough to make you ten times stronger and bigger. Oh, this is really what I need. Thank you so much. But remember, all magic has consequences. Uh, okay. Ah, he just disappeared. Wow, a real wizard. This potion must be real, too. We'll be able to play normally on that playground. I'm going to be big, and no one can ever hurt me or Mikey again. I've got to get Mikey to take a walk on that playground soon. Mikey, Mikey, you have no idea what a miracle this is. Mikey, how are you? JJ, leave me. Let's go play on the playground. Why? There's those bullies in there. What if they've already left? Let's go play. Mm. Please, Mikey, this time it's going to be okay. Well, if that's how you talk me into it, fine. Cool. Let's go enjoy the new playground. Are you sure you're okay with this? Yeah. If you say it's going to be okay, then it's going to be okay. Let's go. Huh, okay. Hopefully those bullies just went home and we'll play contentedly. Yeah. Oh, it would be awesome to have those kids back there to play all together, too. I agree with you. That would be a lot of fun. Let's go. Yay. Two hours later. Mikey, you're so fast when you're in a good mood. <laughs> I think I'll be able to catch up with you soon without any problems. Huh, are you so serious about this? It's really all a joke, Mikey. In all seriousness, I'm glad we're back here. Yeah. I hope those guys don't come back. It's gonna be okay. Okay, let's go. This whole site is now at our disposal. Awesome. I can't wait to try everything out already. I can't wait either. JJ, this is so awesome. I have no other words like wow. We can jump, run, ride the slide, and no one can stop us. Ah wow, Mikey. I am the coolest because I am above everyone else right now. Yay for cool, Mikey. <laughs> what do you think? Is it fun? I'm having a lot of fun, JJ. Cool. Also, I brought my favorite car with me. Wow, let's see it. That's a beautiful car. Wow, it's as red as my clothes. The color is exactly why I like this car. Oh, so this car reminds you of me? That's right, because you're my Who's best... Who's the one who showed up unannounced again? <gasps> huh, well, finally. Was it just me, or did someone just laugh? You weren't imagining it. It was me. Did you hear him? He's looking for a fight. He's lost his fear. I'm so angry. JJ, what are you doing? It's gonna be okay, Mikey. Just watch. So you're quite fearless, I see. Oh, no. I told you both not to come here anymore. I guess I'll have to beat that information into you. You should only worry about yourself right now. JJ, stop it! What are you talking about, kid? You're just two wimps. What are you gonna do to us? And now you're about to find out what happens to those who bully the younger ones. Huh, he's just crazy. Huh, I'll be the one with the last laugh. And what's that juice in a bottle gonna get you? Now we're about to find out. But don't worry, I won't forget bullying so easily. <gasps> What is that? Huh, what do you say now, kids? Oh, holy mother, save me. Forgive us, Big J. We're sorry. We won't bother you again. I don't want to see you doing that thing where you hurt those younger than you. I got it. I'm sorry. Behave yourselves. All right, sir. Come on, come on. JJ, I'm certainly very glad they're gone. Yeah. But what happened to you? Why did you suddenly get so big? Isn't that cool, Mikey? Well... Now no one can hurt us. Will you stay like this forever? I think so. Yay, that means we can safely play all together and not be afraid of anything. Yeah. Now that you're so big, I think you'll need a bigger bed. Huh, you're right. I can't fit in that little crib anymore. Huh, our mom's gonna be so surprised. Uh, Mikey? Oh my god. Why did you get smaller? JJ, I'm not small. You've gotten bigger. I can't stop it. I can feel myself getting bigger and bigger. JJ, it's gonna be okay. Hmm. Oh god, just don't be nervous. Maybe it'll affect your height. Mikey, I'm getting a little scared. I can't control it. JJ, I get it. Oh my god. Oh, but this isn't normal anymore. Oh, Mikey, I don't know what to do at all. Calm down. Mikey, a wizard did this to me. What? Did you say wizard? Yes, he gave me that potion. It made me so big. Uh, okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get help right now. Mikey, I wanna go with you. No way. Wait, Mikey, why? You'll scare everyone away with the way you look. Oh, okay, you're right. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'll wait here. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, dream of something good. Uh, okay. That's not exactly what I asked the wizard for. I have become not just big and strong, I am now a giant among giants. What a mess. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Mom, Dad, somebody help. JJ, not okay at all, help. Come on. <laughs> The kids will be back soon. I'll just finish dinner. Mom, 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 mom. There's trouble, mommy. We are literally in big trouble. Oh, holy chop, Mikey. What's the rush? What's wrong? There's a JJ. First pow, then bang, and it's so big. 
I didn't expect this at all. But he said it was his wizard who bewitched him with his potion. Well, Mikey, the wizard lives far away in the mountains. We should hurry. If we don't break JJ's spell before sundown, he'll forever be as he is now. <gasps> we still have time. Let's hurry. We must not miss this opportunity. Where's JJ now? Mom, JJ is on that very playground right now. Oh, he'll scare all the kids away. It's already been done before him. What? Three hours later. Wizard Skibbity, are you there? Mom, what is this place? Ah, uh, this is the house of that wizard who does evil, apparently. Let's punish him! Oh, and I just dozed off. You don't have to punish anyone. What's wrong? Oh, are you really related to that boy? What's wrong with you, wizard? Why did you do this to my son? Give my brother back his normal height! You mixed up the potions, you old stump. Uh, let's just part ways peacefully, okay? Let's not do any of your tricks. Here's a potion that'll restore your boy to his original form. Great! Oh, huh? I guarantee everything will be back to normal. Oh, thanks for the help, wizard. Yay, thank you! You're not a bad wizard after all. Come on, Mikey, it's time to save JJ. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye! Oh, we had quite a long walk to the wizard. Oh my god, what is this? Mom, it's JJ! You gotta be kidding me! Uh, I've been standing here for I don't know how many hours. You know, it's a little boring. Oh my god. JJ, don't move! JJ, a little more of this and Mommy will help you. Uh, did it work? <gasps> JJ, you're shrinking. It worked. Uh, it's a little different from how I envisioned it. Mommy. Yes, my boy. I'm glad you're all right. JJ, again. I'm the one who called Mom to help you. Cool. We were in a wizard's castle. Can you believe it? Thank you so much, Mom. And thank you, Mikey, for not leaving me. By the way, you can play on the playground while you still have time. Really? Of course it's true. Play. Let's have some fun in here, JJ. Yay. Thank you, Mom. Thank you all. Several long days later. Mikey and I are taking a walk in the mystery forest today. JJ, what are you talking about? Uh, it looks like an ordinary forest to me. You're just missing the mystery of it all, Mikey. Huh. Did you come up with something again? No, it's true. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. Hmm. Let's take a walk through your mysterious forest and see. Come on, come on. I'm sure you'll just be blown away when you see all the mystery. Huh. What makes you so sure of that? Because I've been in this forest before. Well... And I've seen something mysterious. Hmm. Mystery, mystery. Hmm. What do you even mean? Mysterious things can happen here. Oh, hmm. Look. What? I found something mysterious. Stop saying that word. But I'm serious. Hmm. There's a diamond block, Mikey. Stop. What? Diamond block? Yeah, it's got a delicious cake on top of it. JJ, hmm. don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? What could be suspicious? about a diamond block. Oh my god, JJ. Mikey, don't you know? Well... I'm just crazy about cakes. JJ, you can't be serious right now, can you? Oh no, Mikey, I'm dead serious. What are you gonna do? I'll eat it, Mikey. Uh, I think this is a bad idea, JJ. But Mikey... It could be dangerous. I'm unstoppable. Oh no. Oh, this cake is delicious. JJ, stop. That's just beautiful. Holy turtles, JJ. Divine, marvelous. You're gonna get a stomach ache. Huh, this kind of deliciousness won't make me sore. JJ. I'll eat him whole. You better stop right now. I just can't stop. JJ, let's go home already. Ah! Uh, JJ, I just blinked and you were already gone. Where are you? Mikey, I'm here. <gasps> JJ, I told you, it was a trap. Help me. Okay, okay, I'll get help and you try not to go anywhere. Hmm, and I can't go anywhere. There's no other passageways? There's only one way out of here and it's in front of me. All right, Mikey, run for help. Okay, JJ. I'll find a way out here. <laughs> What's this? Don't yell so hard, little boy. Oh my God. I'm the smartest skibbity toilet and I'll help you get stronger and smarter. But I don't want to. Nobody's asking your opinion. No, ah! We'll put on a show like this for all your friends and family. No! The best Skibidi show ever. <coughs> oh, is it night already? Uh, it's like a village near my home. Where's Mikey? Shouldn't he have called for help? Ha, huh, looks like I got myself out of that trap. I'm so cool, but I'm so mad at Mikey. Why didn't he come to my rescue? My home is so close. Didn't Mikey or my parents worry about me? Hmm. But they could have at least tried to find me. It's so unfair. Why are they so bad? I'm very interested to see the look on their faces when I get back now. So, hello to all my favorite family who never forgot about me JJ, for a second. JJ, you're back. Of course I'm back. JJ, I missed you. Hmm. I'm glad you're back. Lie. Let me make dinner. And I'll be working. Oh, how I've missed you, my dear unadulterated family. <laughs> okay, JJ. Hmm. Sit down with Mikey at the table and wait for me to prepare the food. Yeah, yeah, okay. And to smooth the wait, watch some TV together. Hmm. Yay, let's hurry up, JJ. Hurry up, hurry up. Don't make too much noise, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, don't distract me from my work. Okay, okay. You won't hear a thing. Dear Mr. JJ, hmm. I invite you to sit down and have dinner with me at the table. Huh, no problem, my little favorite brother. Let's watch cartoons. Is that what you're so interested in? Of course it is. Really? Look at that, Mr. 
Mr. Krabs. He's awesome. Mikey, don't you care about the fact that you left your brother alone in that trap? But I was going to call for help. Where's your help? I was alone in the woods. Hmm. And all you did was make sweet talk to our parents. Come on, JJ. Let's watch TV. No, no, no. no and no. Oh. You're just a terrible brother. <gasps> what are you talking about? You're a terrible friend. What? I hate, hate you. Wow. You're just awful. You left me in that trap in the woods. Forget it. It's a misunderstanding. You just walked away and forgot about me. And now you want me to forget about it? JJ, this really is some kind of misunderstanding. We were just about to come looking for you to rescue you. Are you ready to prove it to me? Of course. I'm available to help you at any time. Then die now. <gasps> what? Uh... You're too loud, Mikey. Everyone's much better off without you. Hmm. Great. Mom still hasn't noticed anything. Let's get this body out of here. Huh. You're my first victim. And you, my favorite mommy, will go after him. But don't worry. I won't forget about my favorite daddy either. I'll save him for last, huh? And it's time to get out of here before anyone sees. I just have one great place in mind. It's time for you too, Mikey, to recognize all the despair I've experienced. It's a very similar situation. But the only difference is you won't be alone, huh? So one's ready. Kids, it's time for dinner. Cool. JJ, where's Mikey? He's not feeling well. Okay, well, you sit down to eat by yourself for now, and I'll finish dinner for Daddy and go check on Mikey. You don't need to check it out. Mm, okay, JJ, come to the table. Huh, okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit to you too, Mom, and sweet dreams to you. Because you're going to sleep for a long time. Just boot up the computer. Huh, what? Why is everything freezing? Huh, don't worry, I'll help you soon, Daddy. You're next. But now I have to deal with this body too. Yes, Mommy? Oh, and Mom is surprisingly light. Hey, hey, hey! Mikey, I brought you your mom, huh? <gasps> I don't even have to put in any extra effort to deal with her body. Expect an addition to your little locked-in party, huh? <laughs> wow! I can't believe there are such cool channels. They have such great content. Whoa! I love that they have videos every day, so I'm gonna subscribe right now. Their videos lift my spirits. Oh, I forgot to click on the like. I need to do it now. Dad, dinner's ready, but Mom asked you to go down to the basement. Oh, they're so cool. Hmm. Wait, you said she's waiting for me in the basement? Yeah. That's a little weird. Why is she calling me over there? I don't know. Okay, JJ. Hmm. Now I'll watch the last video and let's go. But Daddy, Mommy asked me to call you now because it's very urgent. But I have yet to write a comment under the video. Oh! Maybe she can do it without me? No, Daddy. She said she only wants you and your power. All right, let's go to the basement, JJ. Cool! My favorite daddy, you're trapped. JJ, did you say something? Uh, yeah, you love our mommy, don't you? Yes, of course I love her. Really? What's with all the questions? Nothing wrong with that. I'm just looking forward to your reaction. Uh, okay. You'll be blown away when you see her. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um... Oh my god! Are you okay? Yeah, I finally did it! Well, welcome! Let us go, JJ. We're a family, aren't we? Yeah, JJ. What do you think about that? Oh, sweetheart, what's going on? My darling. Oh, isn't that touching? Who did this to you? JJ did it! Are you serious? Yes! Explain yourself immediately. Oh, huh, what? JJ, what kind of behavior is huh. this? Huh, have you thought about yourself? Oh my god! You know, Daddy, I always have a plan A and a plan B, remember that? Daddy, watch out! I don't know what grudge you have against us, but please, just have mercy. You're not sorry enough. <gasps> So you're grounded. Now daddy's in my power too. Look at these helpless people. This is so hilarious. JJ, for what? Hmm. We're brothers. Why are you doing this? You guys are so funny. What are you talking about? Oh, what did you do that for, JJ? Um, How could you do that, JJ? Forgive us. Huh? I'm in charge now, y'all. Get over it. What are you going to do next? And you all don't have to worry about that in any way. You're not going to do anything bad to us, are you? Well... But if you're interested, I'm going to throw the coolest party ever. What? A party? And you're not invited. Wait, JJ, let's talk. We have nothing else to talk to each other about. I hope you rot in that basement, huh? I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. What are we going to do now? I don't understand how this could happen. Maybe the grate opens. Maybe. Hmm, interesting, interesting. It's useless. Mom and Dad, I have a cool idea. What? Look, we've got ventilation in here. Uh, Mikey, your mom and I can't get in there. Yeah, sorry. I'll climb through it and free you. Um... I'll come out the other side of this cage. All right, I hear you. Yay! Let's go, Mikey. Be careful. Dad, didn't you know... Ah, what? I'm the best vent climber ever. Oh, my God. You won't even notice how quickly I'll be on the other side. It's time for Mikey's hero. Be careful, my boy. Mom, why don't you give me some brownies in a diaper. But Mikey... It's okay, it's safe here. Calm down. See you soon. Oh, who's he growing into? I don't know. He reminds me of someone. Well, who are you talking about? Huh, I'm talking about the woman in front of me. <laughs> okay, why do you think JJ became like this? He's always been a good boy. I don't even know. I feel like we've been paying too little attention to him. No way. He must be very resentful. Five minutes later. Wow, I think I found a way out. 
Yes, I finally found the right way out. This ventilation shaft is a maze. I got lost three times, but I'm here now. I'm so good. Mom and Dad, I finally found you both. You're doing great, Mikey. Hurry up and free us. Now you're free. We can't take any more time. Let's hurry up and see what JJ's up to. He was talking about the party. Yes, let's have a quick look. I hope our house is still intact. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Mikey, you see yourself as an adult. Huh. Well, I am an adult, Mommy. Wow. Kids grow up so fast. Follow me. Lead us, oh hero Mikey. That will save us all. Hooray for the hero. Hee hee hee. And now, surprise attack. Attack me. I'm ready. And it's peaceful in here. That's good to know. <gasps> Where is this music coming from? I don't understand. Is it just me, or do I hear music coming from the second floor? Yes, that's right. Oh, holy kebab, what's going on here? Where are all these guys from? I don't see JJ here. He really threw a party just like he wanted. But not with skibbity toilets. I agree, they don't belong in our house. All of you get out of our house. Everyone leave or we'll take you out by force. Party's over. Everybody out. And don't even think about coming back here. Too relaxed. Look at them. Now you know what will be waiting for you in our home. I've memorized each and every one of you. Well, they're gone. That's it. Yay! Now let's all think together about what we're going to do about JJ. Yes, I think it's infected with a skibidi toilet. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's find a cure and prepare a surprise appointment for JJ. Yeah, let's hurry up or he might be back JJ, now. now we're going to throw you a party. Hee hee hee. Three hours later. I wonder how my incredible party is going over there. Everyone must be having an incredible time hanging out there. Cool, everything's in full swing? Wait, what? Why is there no music? Have they all gone already? That can't be. I've done all the preparations. JJ, we're gonna fix you. Oh my god. Do it, Mikey. Don't you dare do that. Hey no! Ah! Yeah. What was that? JJ, your mind has been enslaved by the Skibidi toilet. Yeah, and that's not to say it was fun. But we saved you. Uh... Yes. And I hope you're okay now. And hopefully you won't hit us over the head again. Yes, please don't hit us, because it hurts. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you all. JJ, you didn't do it. You were manipulated. So it's all good. Really? JJ, calm down. It's all right. Hmm. I saved you 100% this time. Uh, okay. So let's have the party of your dreams instead of regret. Oh my god, are you serious? Mom, come on. All right. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you. We try very hard to make videos for you, so if you don't mind supporting us with your likes and subscriptions to the channel. Love you all. See ya, see ya, be gone. See ya, see ya, see ya, be gone. Coming through the blues, no BB King. Back to back shit, so just looking for the ring. I wake up, I brush my.